All right, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle, and today we are going to be taking a look at the Flashpoint 10th Anniversary Omnibus uh, released from DC that just came out. Well, I think the actual release date is in a few weeks from now, uh, but this is printed in Canada, so as soon as they're kind of ready, they seem to ship them out, so I end up getting them uh, usually a little bit earlier. And uh, this is the first time that we ever had uh, this in omnibus format. Obviously, we have uh, trade paperbacks and hardcovers and absolute editions, uh, but in terms of an omnibus collecting literally everything um, Flashpoint related in all, all the crossovers, uh, this is the first time. And this is a massive book. It is over 1,500 pages. 1,512 is the actual page count here. But I will say, even though it's DC, the binding is beautiful. I am so happy with it, and I'll, I'll kind of show you that in a second. So we're going to take a look at the build of the book, uh, the material that's covered inside, the price, all that kind of fun stuff. And as you can see, it is a thick, thick spine here. So let's take uh, a look at what this includes. Uh, collecting the five-issue uh, Flashpoint miniseries along with the prelude story from the Flash 8, and, uh, 8 to 12, as well as all the 56 tie-in issues, Flashpoint Omnibus features uh, the Rogues Gallery of Comics uh, talent, including uh, Jeff Johns, Andy Kubert, uh, Brian Azzarello, Eduardo Riso, Scott Snyder, Jeff Lemire, uh, Gene Ha, and Dan Jurgens, and more. Uh, I probably mispronounced a few of them there, but Jeff Johns, I mean, that guy I just absolutely love. Uh, and this retails for $150 in the US and $195 in Canada. I think I ended up paying 105 of this in uh, Canada from uh, indigo.ca when they're having a buy two, get one free sale. That's um, a lot of the times that's where I end up getting it and uh, printed and bound in Canada. And this time they did a really good job with the binding. I also really like this uh, cover. That's beautiful. Uh, I think that's what the trade cover is. And I think that this one, or maybe on the, uh, yeah, we're going to open it up. And this is going to be, from what I gather, uh, what the, um, th there's going to be a Flash movie coming out next year. And from what I gather, it's going to be very Flashpoint um, heavy in terms of the storyline. And right now, there's, okay, this is the cover of the Absolute Edition right there. So once we take the dust jacket off, that's the cover. Really like that art too. Same thing, essentially. That's also really nice. But yeah, the so the um, Flash movie is right now, potentially, it's, it's going to have Ben Affleck as Batman in it, but they're also in negotiations to potentially have Michael Keaton return. Or I've heard also if they can't get Keaton, they might get Christian Bale. I think it would be awesome if they got both of them. Uh, this is all speculation, rumors, and all that kind of stuff. But uh, So, 1,500 pages. Uh, it doesn't lay fully flat, like the hardcover isn't smacking here, but it is opened up and there's only like pretty much my fingers space in between, but that's because it's so big. Once you start having some pages here, we're going to see that it, it does lay, for the most part, pretty flat. Two. Uh, and I, I can probably stretch it out a little bit more. But I, man, if we get Michael Keaton back, I'm going to be so freaking happy uh, i i returning you know as if it's the as if batman and batman returns from the tim burton batman movies happened and just continuing on from there that's i'm so excited so as we can see right away um it's lit it's, it's staying open it's not wanting to close it's almost it's almost touching now i can't put my fingers underneath so that's wow 50, i don't know how dc does that like they they, they go back and forth between so much of how how well built their omnibus are um as we can see we're not really getting that much gutter loss at all for a page for for 1500 pages this is just insane the art is also absolutely beautiful i love the yellow and red it, it just really works well together i might have to stretch this out a bit more i think once you read it too that'll help a lot but for the most part, I didn't do much stretching with this at all. I didn't go through the extravagant stretching that I normally do for a DC omnibus. 
what I, what you could do to kind of help with this is you kind of hold the majority where the, the, the main pages are here, kind of press down here and gently press this down so it kind of gets used to being open, which I have not done yet. And you kind of go through, like you go through another few pages, you do the same thing. You hold here, pressing down on the right hand, and then you gently press these down as well. And it kind of gets used to that feeling. I've done a video on this. I can link it in the description box below for what I normally do for, you know, rather stiff omnibus. I just want to kind of maybe show a little bit more art and then we'll show what the eye looks like. Uh, let's see uh, if I could get a two page spread, that'd be great. Perfect timing. So, I mean, we are seeing a little bit of gutter loss, a little bit, uh, not a crazy amount, especially if I kind of keep it open, but the boom here, I think is where you can kind of really see the most, you don't really see a lot. I mean, it's not horrible, uh, especially a book this size. It's not terrible, but there is some, I'm actually just so impressed with this though seriously like i expected this to be well i don't know dc kind of does some green lantern stuff yes um yeah i wanted to kind of show um a little bit of the book because there are obviously a bunch of different artists on this so you want to kind of see what all that art is going to look like here's a two-page spread as well Not bad, but I know that some people are very picky about that and I completely understand too. So I want to be able to show that and, and, and the different art to see if this is something because not necessarily all of the art is my jam. Um, a lot of it is and the main story, it looks like that's exactly what I want. We're about halfway through and I'll show you the eye. The eye is freaking awesome. We're about halfway now, uh, just to kind of show you what it looks like, right? You know, it's 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 doing a pretty darn good job. We could probably have it a little bit higher, and I think actually reading this book and maybe stretching it out a little bit more um, will help with that. But for the most part, really nice. Like fifteen hundred pages—that's wild. Nearing the end of the book here. Actually, didn't even get to. I didn't look to see if there's any extras. I assume that there are. I'll see that in a second. All right, let's see near the end. Is that uh, okay? Not a lot. Um, I think some variance is what we're getting here. Yeah, I think that's the absolute right there. What the cover looks like on the absolute. There we go. And I'll just quickly show you. So it is sewn binding and uh, it looks about halfway through. Look at that. Look at that eye. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, I did stretch it out, like I said, uh, not a crazy amount. Uh, but I did stretch it out to help with this, obviously. And uh, the, uh, the more I stretch it and the more I, I kind of take my time with it. Now, once again, I'll put a description box or a link in the description box below for how I stretch these books when they're really tight. And I, I think I might have to do that a little bit more so for areas kind of in like the, the first quarter and, and uh, last quarter of the book. I feel like I'll have to do that. But uh, really seriously happy with the eye of this book. That's great job, DC. And so there you have it, uh, Flashpoint, the 10th anniversary omnibus uh, is out. So thank you all for watching. You have been bearded in. Beardage.